um, I'll be working through how to create the layers in the landscape uh, and some highlights and so on. And then next week we'll be reviewing the painting. Let's get on with it. I'm going to start concentrating on um, the horizon. I've got some trees coming in here uh, just on the edge there and that little house. The little house is going to go here and it's just a tiny wee touch of a, a red. I'm going to put it right here. It's just suggestions of the wall, the shadowed side there. So that's the house up there. Now I need to do uh, the horizon line. What I want to do is have a nice light horizon line there. So I'm putting in this very light, liney green to start it off with, but leaving some of the red showing through. I've got a couple of different ones there, so I'll add in a couple of different colours. I want some darker, um, so I'm going straight into the very dark greens here for the trees on the horizon. And I don't want to make them too big, I want to keep them in sort of perspective the size of the house. In fact, the house I'm going to make smaller in a minute. I've made the house too big. Oh, I might leave it there, otherwise we're just not going to see it. So maybe make a couple of these trees slightly bigger. That's just some trees around the house. I don't want trees all along the horizon, so I'm going to stop them there. I want to put a little bit of variation in, that's what I'm going for here is a little bit of brownie red, and I'm looking for that's a blue that can go in as well. So it's not just green. You've heard me say this before, haven't you? It's just boring having the one green. Well, one of any colour really, you need a little bit of variation. I'm actually am taking those trees out there to the edge. But they're having a little break in there so it's not very symmetrical. Okay, that's looking quite nice. Now, I wanted the barley and I'm trying to work out, or the rye, and I'm trying to work out what colour I'm going to do that. So let's try it, start out with this colour. And that paddock is sloping right down into here. And there's going to be a much darker one over here where it's kind of a bit in shadow. And I'll be adding a little bit more of the real darkness into that. Just keeping on now with those fields. Um, and trying to get some colour into them, some contrast, and make them look light field and shadowed. So that's my lighter field back there. I want to put in the some different um, shades of barley coming down here, or rye. Not sure which one it is, but it's going to be. Up through there too, it's a little bit more in shadow there, so. And I don't actually like the way that's going, so I'll probably change that and make that not be. Oh, that's just going to be another field, and it's going, it's going to come down like that. So let's get some more down into that. That's, that's the rye field, and it's got... light 
light as it comes around here. And we'll make it go up there, so it's nice and light field. That field coming around and down like so. It gets a little bit more shadow down here as it dips into the gully, into the valley. So I'll just make that come a little bit further down with some darker colours. I'm just going to put some little track marks where the tractor goes through there. little directional marks in there. That's a little bit darker as it comes down into the shaded area. I'm just running a couple of different colours over that. I don't want it to be too pronounced, so I'm just knocking it back a bit by scrumbling another colour over it. This I want to be quite dark, so I'm going in for dark green, just scrumbling through my book. That's a dark blue. I'm going to start off with that and give that a bit of a curve around. Uh, and work then in some other greens. Try and keep the curves going. Might even put a little wedge of a darker field in here. Really what I'm trying to do is keep the contrasts going between the lights and the darks. Uh, in the front here, is going to be some wheat, so I'm going to give it some uh, greeny kind of stems coming up like this. Maybe not have it go all the way down there because it, it'll be kind of cutting it right off, so I'll make some of the wheat stems go up like that. In here, I think I'll have another sort of green in behind there, not as not as um, dark as that one, not as light as that one. I might put a couple of touches of that through there as well. We can see that that's going right down into a, a valley there. I might pull that up slightly higher and you can see the rolling of fields and I might make that a little bit less I just thought I was dipping down a little bit too much uh, and I might actually change the way that goes. I think it's dipping, dipping too much into that. So we'll start going across a bit more that way. Even though it's like that in the uh, picture, and I like it in the picture, in the photo, I don't really like it there. So you, know, you keep changing what you're doing uh, till you get what you like, what, what works for you in this instance. I'm just trying to put some of those little lines you get in the crops in here by dragging a harder pastel through it. Let's give that a tap so I can see how it's looking. I have got some of the lines but I still want it even darker so I'm really going to look for a darker colour and draw a few darker lines through the paddock. Just to get it some I'm making it a bit darker as I come over into this sort of shadow area here and darker just where it meets up with that. That 
that's better. I'm liking that better. Now I need a few directional lines in there. I don't want them to be very dark. Um, I think I'm going to use... If I can find a good colour in here. Mm. I'll try that. It's a bit darker than I wanted, but let's... Oh, I think that'll work. So I'm just sweeping some lines down into the hollow of that. So now I've got some directional lines going that way. Uh, this does look like canola back there because it's got that, the little flower heads on it. I might put a touch of more sunlight coming across the top of some of this. And now what I want to do is just make the wheat here. So I'm just going to be pulling up various bits of suggestion of wheat stalks there. I'll be using some of these ones to, to go back in with a whole lot of wheat stalks. And I'm just pulling them down as you can see there. Randomly to suggest wheat. And some of them will be taller and will grow up over the grasses behind them. I need a couple of different sticks. I want to use the darker, so the harder ones. Here comes a different coloured stick altogether. Now it depends how ripe your wheat is, what kind of colour the tops of it are going to be. Is it still getting ripe and therefore it's fairly green or is, is it fairly ripe already? And it will be a yellowy kind of colour. I'm going to put in a, here's another stick as well. Let's see if I've got a different coloured stick in here that I could use to put in. Well, I'll use this purpley colour. So I'll put a few darker. Stalks amongst the wheat. Just for some shadow ones. And it's always darker down at the base. And the wheat is all fairly upright, like so. Now I could, if I wanted to bring that wheat up even higher um, into the... Potatoes are boiling over, I'll just turn those down. <laughs> and then I have to put some little heads on the wheat. And so I'm going to go for something fairly light. I might have to play around until I find the right colour. Let's try that. Quite like that. 
So this is just the way it heads. And you can see I'm, a I'm angling it different ways for the weight, the way the heads fall on the stems, the stalks. As you go further back, there's less distinguishing. And I'm just pulling a hole, the whole, using the whole side of it to, and then just dotting in the occasional one with a bit more of a gusto. And they're light enough to show up well against the um, fairly light field behind it. Okay, that field is going to get a couple of little highlights in there. Um, I want to add in a couple of lighter stems there. put on top of it too. Might even get some of this very yellow. I decided I wanted a nice leading line in there. So I've got lots of leading lines in. In we come, round we go, up we go, cross, back, into the house. Then I've got all these clouds up here. And I think that's fairly effective. I'm, I'm not too unhappy with that. I think it needs probably to be a bit lighter up here along the edge of this field. So I'm just going to lighten that edge off. And pull some of those light strokes down into the rest of the paddock. And maybe just uh, emphasize that a little bit there. Just using this one to make a few darker bits in there. And we might get a couple of lighter strokes down there, and then some very dark ones down the bottom. So I want to bring a little bit of that. blue from the sky into some of those areas as well. I'm going to call that done. Hope you enjoyed that. It's lots of fun laying down those various layers and trying to get some depth and some uh, rolling sense of the rolling landscape, isn't it? Um, I'll be working through how to create the layers in the landscape uh, and some highlights and so on. And then next week we'll be reviewing the painting. Let's get